All right, round two, <laughs> round two. We're gonna get this message out. Watch the prior video if you want to get the information for this video. So at the receptor level, there is the issue of false guilt that you're overcoming in this hour. There is no longer grace for it to stay hidden within your members. So anywhere within your body where there is a possibility of manipulation in the area of false guilt, it is being exposed and God is not going to allow you to tolerate it. And listen, I have been dealing with this myself and I'm just being transparent and telling you what I deal with so that you know that I am dealing with it in the same aspect that you are just at a different angle. As I have had a boldness by Holy Spirit of the righteousness of Christ Jesus come upon me where the righteous are bold as a lion, there is a fortuitedness, a fortitude, where we are a fortified city, a bronze wall, an iron pillar, Jeremiah 118, and we are no longer allowed to just brush aside and turn our face to darkness, to works of darkness. And I'm not talking about outside the church, okay? Everything that I'm talking about is inside of the aspect of those who call themselves Christian, but who bear bad fruit. We see this with John the Baptist. We see this with Jesus Christ. And this is what God told me. And of course we see it in Jude 14 and we see the expression of God's holy ones, Jude 13 through 15. We see those holy ones coming and exposing the works of darkness and it brings conviction. And this is what God told me. He said, Robin, the areas in which the enemy has tried to make you feel guilty for not exposing darkness. I'm uprooting, I'm tearing down, I'm destroying in order that you will not be controlled, manipulated. And then immediately God sent Ephesians 5, 11 and 12. And he said this, it says in scripture that truth, the light exposes the works of darkness. And this is what Holy Spirit is doing within your members. The truth of Christ in you is no longer going to tolerate darkness. The truth of Christ in you is going to expose the works of darkness. Just let me know if you can see and hear me because it's still at a standstill. Y'all just let me know if you can see or hear me. The truth of Christ exposes the works of darkness. And this is what we're dealing with in this hour. Anywhere within your members where there has been a false guilt to make you feel like a bad person, to make you feel guilty, and it is that condemning tongue in Isaiah 54, 17, where scripture says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises up in judgment against you, you have the right to condemn it. Hey, Sue Gailey, y'all let me know if you can hear me. You have the right to condemn it. That is what, amen, thanks, Kathy. That is what God is doing right now. He is exposing the lies of the enemy where you have felt bad, where you have felt guilt, where you have felt condemnation, and he is exposing it. Thanks, Patricia. He's exposing it to the light so that it no longer is hidden within your members and he's having you confront it. He's having you confront it. It is Ephesians 5, where the works of light expose the works of darkness. And he's having you overcome the voice, the tongue that wags and is used as a weapon against you. So it, it cannot be used. Do you understand that you and the inheritance as a saint have the right to condemn that tongue? And so in this hour, God is exposing, like in John 2, when Jesus Christ came into the church to remove the, those that were merchandising in his church, they, those that were using it to use as a crosswalk to houses, those that were profaning his house with selling sacrifices to take into the temple. He came with a whip. He came with righteousness and he cleaned that temple out. And he told me this. He said, Robin, how do you think cleansing of my temple is going to come? I am going to bring people like that of righteousness that are bold as a lion that expose the works of darkness. And it is going to be as in the book of Jude, God's holy ones that are going to expose darkness. 
And God wants me to encourage you. Listen, if you have been feeling shamed, condemned, guilty by the enemy, like you have done something wrong when you have confronted darkness, God is, has me on here to let you know, listen, you condemn that lying tongue. You condemn it. That is your right as a saint and you stand up in boldness because one of the things that we have been taught in a charismatic church that is so brainwashed people and has really gotten people into a ditch is that they are taught to sweep things under the carpet. They are taught to not talk about works of darkness, but to tolerate it. And that has to be exposed. We expose pedophilia, we expose physical abuse, and we have cases that if you go to the sheriff, if you go to the police department and file a domestic violence case, it's exposed. They don't sweep it under the carpet. And you know what? That is what truth does. How do you think God's church is going to be cleansed? We're not just going to just, okay, God, just come on, do it through osmosis, come down from heaven, invisibly go in the church. God is going to use Romans 9, 23, his vessels of glory that are created for noble use. He says in his house, there are vessels of wood that are for ignoble use. That's the works of darkness, but there are vessels that are noble, that are created for his glory. And he, amen, Lisa, and he is going to come in his people. He always moves in his people. He looks for vessels that are willing. So God wants me to just tell you, look, look at the areas in which the enemy is causing you to feel condemned in which the enemy is trying to make you shrink back and you be bold as a lion and you come out and you confront the devil and you condemn his tongue and you speak truth and you stand in this evil day of danger. Ephesians 6, 10 through 17, in the evil day of danger, having done all, stand your ground. Somebody stand for truth. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you.